Pama Show. It's the DC Pama, the DC Pama, the DC Pama. Jay! Used to get my peace from AZ. Mary Jane is the case that they gave me. Trips from the West Coast stop real fast. DC Pama show the masses how to grow grass. No till the method be attentive, slow learner. The raw sheets turn that gas to a slow burner. Big worm got the strength. What up, y'all? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the DC Farmer Show. We know we're a little bit late, but <laughs> shit, that's yeah. how we do sometimes. <laughs> no sign. But as always, uh, we got a co-host with here, right here, Doughboy, A1 Doughboy on IG, and Dane Dane Poop on IG. So uh, I don't know, shit, you, we was just talking. What you was talking about last night? <laughs> what I was talking about last yeah, night? Yeah, yeah, man. man Dogging is... your little ride out. No, yeah. <laughs> Nah, I, um, I actually had some good news, man. My man came back down from Cali, man, with some good prices, man. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. What yeah, you I talking about? some gas, man. Good numbers down here. No more than 17. Yeah, what, what, what strange you talking? Whatever. You heard that? 17 a pound, dog. Whatever. Ain't none of this, is it? <laughs> no, <that> might, <laughs> be, might be a little bit of this right here. What's that? It's a motherfucking um, ghost OG right here. I got some, um, I got some gorilla cookies too. Gorilla flavors. I'm actually smoking on some gorilla cookies. Oh yeah. Did I not? I did not get this from you. So. <laughs> <laughs> so gorilla cookies. This is some. Um, um, shall we call it street OG? Fuck no. Street, <laughs> that, that's that motherfucking. Um, that's that. Uh, what they call it? Uh, what they, what they call it? Snickle right? Fritz. Snickle Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that Snickle Fritz. This in is a, a bag. Dub, this is a dub for a seven for all day. All it look, it look pretty good. Yeah, it do I look, it do look good. Wrong. For it the price, good. for the price, it's beautiful. If you like quantity over quality, this is what you want. That street OG. <laughs> street <laughs> street. <laughs> <laughs> if you want some quality over quantity, you know we we got that too. What you got a name? Oh shit, man. We shit. Name them out, man. Forbidden fruit. Some moolah. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh-huh. Some moolah. They smell, they smell like um. It's that glizzy right there. Damn, like, man, what the hell is the name of that straw? Hold on. Say moolah. <laughs> right, just say moolah. Okay, it's too big. <coughs> Gold and something, man. I forgot the name of that. Gold and something, man. I don't know. A few other goodies up in there, man. But yeah, um. Tasu Bubba? Yep, that, that smells good too. Yeah, this probably some gas right here. Yeah, that, that's some vibe right awesome there. Awesome right here. But um, somebody had a question right on, on, on the live. Mm -hmm. I don't really know the answer to this one. You might know it better than I do. Man, Dean was trying to figure it out too. But they was um, what's the best strain to get to get in on in the DMV area? The best strain? Yeah. Oh my god! I said we ain't had none because we ain't really got no of well, our own of it for real. Well, you can't say that. Well, only a certain few, I should say, but can't say that because yeah. my man he be having some good cherry pie. I just ain't been able to run into him. A lot of people ain't really hip to that trade pie, but it, it's definitely out here though. Yeah, I would say um, uh, as far as, I can attest to that as as I can answer that question as far as growers go. I could attest for growers like I didn't had T nine flowers, and he's got some good strains going for sure. And um, you know, so look him up on IG. You know, see if you can connect with him if you out here if you want some local strains, but um. He's definitely doing his thing. It's a few other people that I, know, I might uh, be missing, but I haven't had a flower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's a whole lot of other growers out in this area that's doing it too, but I just haven't had their flowers personally. Like, I can attest to T9s because I didn't had his flowers personally. You know what I'm saying? So I, I also seen, um, I don't know if y'all follow Lucky um, Lucky 420, I think it is. I yeah, think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I've been meaning to try some of his flowers, too, because his grow has been looking yeah, outstanding. Be looking good too. Too. Yeah. And uh, 720. Who? Uh, genetic. 720 Genetic? Yeah, he was up here. So he down here? He from down yeah, here? Yeah, he was on the show. Uh, 
name. I can't remember his name right now, but he was on the show. And he got some, uh, what the fuck he had? Monkey Poo? Some monkey shit that Poo? Was up oh, there. that monkey, that purple shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, about? he got them numbers for the high, too. Yeah, <laughs> pressure. Yeah, uh, I can't remember his name. I forgot right to do what talking about, but he had, that, he had that purple shit. That shit yeah, was real, yeah. real purple. Um, yeah, I mean, how yeah, you, you feel got about the whole strand, right? What you mean? Your own don't you put together, right? Nah, not yet. Uh, I mean, I'm growing some shit, but I ain't got <laughs> my. I, I don't have my own personal joint yet. Uh, I'm still like collecting on land traces and stuff like that, to figure, not, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. So like right now, I have some. Um, I got some seeds that I got from um, from Africa, Nigeria. So um, I also got some seeds that I got from um, from out Jamaica and shit. So. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get together some, some a few more land traces and stuff. And let's see what I'm going to go from there as, as far as creating my own strain. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I want to start my my setup, like, from from the beginning. But uh, uh, as, far as, as far as personal strains, uh, what would you say DC strains? Like, I, I heard of Fire OG. Fire OG was originated here, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, D, no, D, not, not Fire OG, DC Fire. I that's I a strain. Of I heard of it. I, I haven't heard, had it either. Yeah. But that's a strain that's supposed to be um, local to DC, uh, as well as what's Crystal City I see and that, Mumbo that Crystal, Sauce. See that Crystal City? <laughs> he said Mumbo Sauce. Hey, what was, was the joke called Mumbo Calvary Sauce, right? City. Yeah, Mumbo Sauce. Yeah. City, Mumbo I wouldn't Mumbo. advise nobody to grow that. Like that Critical Kush was, that Critical Kush was here too. Critical. Critical Kush, Orange Kush, the... Uh, that lemon, um, Jack Frost. Yeah, um, some of the Jack Frost. Um, I like that one too. The uh, the Smurf yeah. Birds was floating around too. Oh well, shit! I had that. Yeah, yeah. Smurf Birds. Now I'm talking about like strains that people created from DC. You know, like DC strains. Oh, oh, oh. Because I think that's the question he was trying to ask. Oh yeah, but see, it's that crystal, DC strains. That Do we have City, any like that Crystal City? That shit Virginia, is unstable. Yeah, so unstable. that's an unstable strain. Yeah. I swear it is. Like, it, it, it always Hermes. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it is what it is. Shit, tell it. Shit, that's what it is. I'm pretty that, sure, like, I'm pretty sure had, you saying that from experience. So. Yeah. I had, like, eight, nine plants of that. And I every time I every time I grew it, like, it was different phenos of it. But it just wasn't, like, unless I wasn't dialing something in. Because everything else was good. But it always, like, when it came to, like, just showing its sex, it always grew balls on it. Probably every time. Still, it probably just still needed to be worked. And it wasn't, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But that's why I never tried to get the mumble saws. I never tried to get that. Uh, it was another strain too that was here too. Uh, chem dog. Somebody said chem dog. Chem, chem dog, dog is great here? for pain. Nah, it ain't from here. I'm about to say nah. That definitely ain't from here. No, they said chem dog is great for pain. for me. That's probably from over chem the UK dog, uh, somewhere. Chem dog is more <laughs> of a uh, sativa leaning, right? No, it's a hybrid. So, okay. Yeah, definitely a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Shit. Uh, What's y'all favorite strain? You already know me. <laughs> what, what? Oh, God's girl? You know it. Nah, and I got it from this man right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Still looking that for them. That same bounce. I got a couple strains, though. I like that I like that cherry pie. I don't know why I keep talking about it. <laughs> I just like that joint. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever had um, Salmon Creek. Nah. It leaves like a caramel taste in your mouth. It tastes yeah. it's so. It, it just tastes sexy. You know, you look. Nah, you, he said, it "Taste sexy." Taste sexy. <laughs> taste sexy. <laughs> like, it ain't no strong. Uh, make you call. Hey, uh, you need to start reviewing some some, some <laughs> weed. <laughs> <It tastes dirty. laughs> they need to call you the, uh-huh. the review man. It tastes sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Salmon Creek. You got the uh, Diamond OG. Um. I, man, I, I, look, I'm gonna tell you two of my favorite strains, and this one goes back like some years, like when I first went out Cali. This is some years. It was called Kelly Zombies, and I'm I'm always remember uh, that. Mm-hmm. One. Yeah, I'm always remember that one. And the other one is um one that I grew from Smurf Gen- um I said Smurf Genetics from um North Genetics um it's Sub Zero. Yeah, oh, yeah, I like that. Cool. And no. I did get that. I tried that actually, and I got it from you. I'm I'm so mad, man, yeah. that I couldn't save that somehow, some way. Yeah, that I like it. That's right. <laughs> and um, I mean, but like the, the, God, the strains that, that God, jump out to me, though, man. That God's gift, good too. It, 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 Three pools. I'm talking. About, I'm talking far as like grown wise. Like it's 
it stay in any condition. Yeah, what up, Soy by Oda? Hey, Beast Mode OG. I never and heard of that. That shit sounds raw, man. Well, Beast, Beast Mode, Mode OG. I, I heard of it. That's a Cali strain of. for sure. That's a what? Cali strain. Yeah, it probably is. I heard shit. It before. Like more than half of these strains is for real. Mm -hmm. Which shit, yeah, Seattle, that's Cali, all that shit. Yeah. Now that boss nah, OG. Almost. That shit put your ass under. You get a right pheno, that shit. Ah, right, look. Damn. OG the, uh, OG the hemp man said exclusive chief master be having that gas. He keep it. He do he? Yeah. He keep a whole lot of gas. He say it all the time. A whole lot a of whole gas. A whole lot, a whole lot of. They don't be lying, but see, look. That I know man he really. Some shit up there, some great OG for Understand, look. Zone. Understand what exclusive chief master, man. That man really be hunting them down, man. He really be looking for. Look, he gonna give you what you want. He done figure the city out, right? He gonna give you what you want. He got your high end shit. You got your mid mid shelf level shit, and you got your um low end yeah. level shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or uh, shelf level shelf. Low shelf. And, and he prices them accordingly, man. So, like, I don't know. I, I guess he gets shade from people. I don't know his personal issues, whatever it is. But I don't see how people could be mad at that when he's pricing his shit accordingly. You know what I'm saying? So, like. Now nah, I know what it is. They can't get their hands on them strings. That's what it yeah, is. That's why I say I'm not gonna be. I'm but not he, put, be he puts the in the work, right? He, the puts in the, he puts in the I'm work. I'm not gonna be mad at, you, at the tag that you got on whatever you got. You know what I'm saying? Because assuming if I get the end of the day, like I still want what you got. Yeah. So won't you just go in when that man yeah. go in? The right. fuck? Like it's just exactly. that easy. Exactly. And he don't have no all. problem with taking your money and getting you what you want. At all. And he going to send you everything. I, I done dealt with the man, so I know. Open book. That's all. That's my fuck. You know, it's like, open book. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? He gonna let when you he here, he's showing love. Yeah. Hey. It's just like a, uh, like bros that I, I, I watch on YouTube sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like bros that give you information and telling you how they do their shit. Even if they trying to push their product. Like, they show you how to make their product, too. Yeah, gotcha. They gotcha. show you how to make their product, the process, the how it's beneficial, how it's not beneficial, and still will <laughs> sell you the product, but it's up to you whether you want to buy it or make it on your own. Yeah. And I'm the kind of people that I fuck with like that. You see what I'm saying? And it's like that with, like, exclusive. This is what it is. Yeah. You can fuck with this or you can fuck with that or you can get your own package yeah. if you catch me ahead of time like you just said. You feel me? Yeah, so, man. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So when I come back, when that package do turn back down, oh, you can't be mad at that man. That man, and he taxing what he taxing. At the end of the day, y'all still talk. He all ain't taxing though. I'm just saying though. If he, is, I'm saying, but I, I don't know what he charges. He ain't taxing. He ain't taxing. I don't, I don't know what he charges. So I can't raise his numbers. There's some niggas out here taxing. Yeah, out there. Definitely. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. The trust some me, shit I know. they shouldn't be taxing for. Cool. Right. Exactly. Don't be <laughs> worth the shit. So I know yeah. my man had bought me some shit the other day. He didn't know what it was. He just was like, man, my man said he got quarters for four fifty. I'm like, all right, let me see. So I'm like, okay, smell good, look good. So at the end of the day, you know, it yeah. comes to all that taste, you know, the taste of it. So I let him like, nah. He like, what's wrong? I'm like, nah, man, look, I'm just getting my money back. <laughs> so now that happened so early in the day. I go to my other man's house. He and the dude that was that had the weed was coming out. So I'm coming out. He like, man, what's that with you? I'm like, nah, chillin' chill. He's like, oh, you was driving that job? I'm like, yeah, I was driving that job. He's like, man, so and so was trying to sell you. I'm like, yeah, he's like, man, if I knew that was you, man, I wouldn't let him show you that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing. I said, I don't even know why he came over there with it, Slim. Like, I was gonna get it at first till I hit it. A lot of that going out here though, man. Oh yeah, you best with if I'm covered and I'm spitting, I need a hit something. What you, what you smoking on anyways, man? This right here? Yeah, this is the OG. It's the so Ghost what you said OG. you had? Ghost OG. And Ghost OG? Yeah, yeah, That's what's up, that's what's up. And this right here, this shit is gay. Mm. Mm. I might gotta fuck with your mans, man. See what you talking about, man. That's from Slut? Nah, 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 that's from my other man. That look good too, though. What's this? That look a really cookie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fucking with the same folks, man. Like the same shit I had, for real. Mm. Mm. So, if y'all out there in chat, man, if y'all got any other it's questions y'all want to know about, as far as how, how easy it might be to access um, cannabis in D.C., um, growing it, buying it, 
getting your hands on it, hmm. going to these exclusive uh, events, sure. which they so-called don't call them pop-ups no more. Uh, so I went to the comedy show. I get all the way there. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, I could not. Uh-huh. It was the weekend this week? Nah, yeah, it was, it was this Saturday. past weekend. I mean, I was up there, so I went up there. I could not find a spot. So when I did find a spot, a uh uh one deuce when he answered the phone. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm about to just go ahead and leave and come back. So as soon as I pull over and I leave, I get back around the way. He calling my phone. So I'm like, I'm on my way. Yeah, you weren't even going back that point. Huh? I'm like, oh, no, I ain't even that going That joint was there. packed now. I don't know if it was yeah, packed, though. Sure. You couldn't find a parking spot. No, I, found, <laughs> I, couldn't find, no, I couldn't find it at first. It was in the back of like some warehouses or something. Yeah, that's that. Unfortunately, that's the um, only thing about yeah, this shit now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now it's getting chased right back into the cut. Right. I don't mm-hmm. even know if people even realize it, man. Have y'all noticed the people out here in DC? Have y'all noticed how it's been getting pushed right back into the same motherfucking situation we was in before it started? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's because a lot of niggas don't not keep their mouth closed. Cause they big bands though you snitch that don't mean you gonna make more money than the next man. You still got somebody behind him that's eating more than you and him. Yeah, you know what I'm much. saying? Yeah. You just don't see it cause you paying attention to that man right there. Problem like, out here though, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody. That's why right. everywhere else, everybody eating. Chicago, <laughs> New Orleans, all them niggas got unity. We ain't got no unity, no loyalty, none out here. It's just. We just out here. <laughs> we just out here, man. And, and to the laws passing, it's be too late. Mm-hmm. And then what they understand here. is everybody chasing the same dollar at the end of the day. Whether you from D.C., Murray, like, or Virginia. Like, I hear, I, I don't know, like, all right, let's talk serious right quick. Like, they talking about Mayor Bowser might be trying to uh, get uh, retail, you know, cannabis to retail in, in, in D.C., right? Yeah. You know, like retail cannabis and all that. I ain't gonna be no Lower the street shit. value. Nah, not really. I mean, the black market... Hey, let's get this... Before we even continue with this conversation, let's get this straight. The black market is always going to be the black market. It's yeah. always going to be all, there. But you got to look at it. They're nah, always going to try to beat what, them prices. But what I'm trying to say is, shit, they, they, as long as taxes around, they always going to beat them prices. <laughs> but what I'm saying is this. It is cool that we're about to go retail and yeah. all that, right? But the sad and truth about it is that I would say, like, not even 20% of D.C. residents would even have an opportunity to own and or yeah. be able to distribute cannabis legally. You know, you feel me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, the excitement, everybody's like, yeah, this shit's about to be it, but how many people that look like us is actually going to be owning stores and selling fucking weed le- legally, dog? Right. Like, for real, yeah. I know one black man, I know one black nigga, he can own, he got his own. He got one, his own. you said one. Yeah, but, but I'm yeah. saying how many. That's, that's you feel? Man, you, I mean, we don't know who else out there. How many in the city <laughs> dominated I mean, I don't know who else by African American? You feel me? I know one person. Yeah, yeah. I feel. I, I, I see. Look, I feel you trying to you trying to be the devil's advocate. Now, yeah, right? <laughs> I feel you right? I appreciate that, right? But let's keep it real, though, man. Let's keep it fucking real, man. Even even now, right? And I ain't blowing no whistles, and I ain't saying shit. But even now, if you see the fucking industry right now in the gray area that is in. The people that own the business that cater to cannabis and all that shit, do they look like you and me? Well, nah. Definitely right now. They definitely <laughs> don't, bro. Yeah, nah. And then the moves they make, if we made them, it won't happen. It wouldn't be happening, right. Sam. It won't happen. It wouldn't be happening. So what's up? I'm just saying this to say is there's certain direction and certain shit that's happening is fucking great. But let's keep a conscious mind is who is it fucking for? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't stepping up to the plate yeah. and asking for nothing. And then by the time shit happened, we're going to be looking back like, fuck, it's too late. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of people hear me say that, but what's the solution? The solution is what my man said. Stop hating on each other so much and let's connect. That's like fucking that's Voltron and take. and take over this fucking game, man. That's that's what what take. Fucking one vendor hating on another vendor. Yeah. One grower mad at another fucking grower. A nigga don't like me because I grow organic. Oh, I don't like him. Man, fuck that shit stupid, man. Yeah, man. You know, ain't the whole time, that shit's so dumb that the whole time you got corporate glomerates in the background taking care of fucking business. <laughs> While we arguing amongst each other and shit. Right. <laughs> who got the motherfucking best strains or who got the best what? Come fuck with me. Yeah. Slim, it's fire out here in the city. 
it's fire from a whole lot of different people out here in the city. Whether you holler at me, whether you holler at Doughboy, whether you holler at T9, whether you holler at any motherfucking body else. One deuce. Man, I can go on, 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 on. It's a lot of fire that you can't. It's tough out here, don't get me wrong, but if you if you really attentive, it's some fire out here if you know who to fuck with. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and, and just keep it real. It's enough motherfucking people out here and enough money out here to go around for everybody. Yeah. For everybody. But everybody don't think that, though. Somebody said, what's a, what's a company sell? What company sells CBD hemp flowers in D.C.? I have to be honest with you, I couldn't well, tell you say. that. I couldn't tell you that. Um, I could tell you to go uh, follow Extreme Turps. Yeah. Hey, um, That's the closest you're going to get to D.C. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's yeah. A, uh, he, he will be your first right? black-owned CBD company yeah. in Maryland. Um, he fucks with us all out here in the city. Anytime I can get him on my show, I get him on here. But uh, as far as CBD questions and all that goes, man, go follow that dude, man. He, he got you on lock on that. For sure. And he's making moves, man. They keep shutting this motherfucking IG down, man. <laughs> that, that's what's fucked they up, too. They keep shutting them down, down man. man. Hey, just got to keep pushing, man. Hey. Somebody hate. Everybody hating on IG. Burner just was saying that, too. They keep bug for pulling his pictures. Hey, let's talk about that. IG. <laughs> All of us have IG. Um, Burner was just talking about it. I'm going to tell you who else was just talking about it. Um, I don't know if you guys follow us on, on last thing, Beer, um, Beer Bros Farms, Beer Brothers Farms. No, but they, they, they are cool folks. If y'all don't follow them, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, look them up. They will give you the lowdown on anything cannabis related nationwide. Like real live news, straight up shit. Damn. And even they, um, even they shit's been getting, they did, they did a, a article on it actually about how IG is shadow banning people. I don't yeah. really know what shadow banning means. But I, I guess it's like reporting them and yeah, and, 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 and pages making and you shit. lose followers yeah. and, uh-huh. and locking your shit out. I don't know. Whatever's going on, I don't know. Me, I just keep doing what I do. I keep moving. Hopefully, they don't fuck with me. Hopefully, they won't shut my account. I don't have a backup. I don't know. I, I do what I do. I haven't been. I've been blessed not to been fucked with lately. But I have, like you said, I have heard that that a lot of people been getting shut down and yeah. fucked with on IG and YouTube too. <clears throat> And I, I don't know, man. I don't and know. I, what, and I've been getting a lot of requests from a lot of growers. Is that a tribute to people snitching, or is that attributed to the fake ass guideline shit that they say people be violating or something? Mm. Ain't no guideline, man. Yeah, probably yeah, ain't no guidelines. They be on there doing emojis, and you worry about a nigga posting some no weed. There's no guidelines. It's legal now, so it. That's well, it's not. Even, it, it's not, it's well, not. They was posting it when it wasn't legal. The, so yeah, 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 that's the thing. Like, like, yeah, let's keep it real. Like, before like, it wasn't even legal, wasn't the problem. They, they, they want to put. was a problem. But technically, technically, cannabis is still not federally legal, right, in the United States. But um, these ain't even. Um, these not even people. <coughs> that, these people out in, out in, you know what I'm saying? Cali, in the UK, Oregon, and shit. They hey. man, shit, man. Like you said, just a couple years back, man. Just everybody had. It wasn't yeah. a problem. It wasn't a problem, period. Everybody had page, how to grow, how to do this, that, and that. I know, I know over there in Cali back um, then, they was I fighting think real it's both. hard because kids was, the, kid, the boy got caught with the weed in his book bag. What? Oh, Cali. So, man, oh, oh, Cali was basically like when they was smoking, they was throwing their seeds anywhere and everywhere, and they started to Bro. grow in people's backyards. The boy went in the backyard and chopped something up and put it in his book bag and took it to school. Right. Yeah, that's why they was really out Cali, really fighting. Like, oh, yeah. That's some wild shit, right? Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, y'all was smart, man. Yeah. He knew what that was. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, a, it's a documentary he, he on saw Netflix. Money. It's a documentary on Netflix. It's called, I think it's called Green Gold or Gold Green or something like that. It's about nothing is strictly but mar- marijuana. Yeah. And it'll tell you about, I guess it was Initiative something out there. I forgot what it was called. I yeah, I mean, I don't, and I don't know, man. Like, we are about to go legal. Unfortunately, we didn't got beat out by what you was it? What's the first country? Was it Uruguay? I don't know. Somebody out there, correct me. I don't know if it was Uruguay before Canada, but now we got two two countries or I two nations. Say shit, anything, two Canada. nations that are legal. Yeah. I want to say, I say Canada. No, Canada killing it right now. Look at this. Ah, but I just saw an article. Oh, I just saw an article. This was funny, right? <laughs> I wish talking about this shit. They just yeah. it in Europe, too. Yeah. It, well, this yeah. is funny, too. Ontario. I just saw an article. Um, 
Uh, High Times actually had this article up talking about uh, <laughs> Ontario. Uh, I guess it was a dispensary or something that they had. People were finding dead bugs in they uh, in they weed. Like, and a lot of people was complaining about dead uh-huh. bugs in they weed. So immediately, I already know what happened. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like. You hear that, and it's like that's just a throw off. So the market is taking off so much that you got everybody thinking that they can fucking grow just starting it off and doing it. So these motherfuckers, obviously, <laughs> I, I didn't even read the whole story, but I'm gonna tell you what the fuck happened from 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 a backdoor point of view, right? These motherfuckers got an operation going, then spent motherfucking probably half a million to get it going, right? To get the, to get the flowers growing, the shit budding up, and boom. Infestation. Mm-hmm. Guess what they forget to do? IPM. They not take care of their plants. Get, they get fucked. They shit get infested. They try to motherfucking uh, 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 overdo it. In my opinion, I think they probably use predator mites. And they try to overdo it with per- predator mites, trying to keep it organic from pesticide because they flowers do get tested. So they just had an overabundance of fucking mites. Whether they were predatory or whether they was the ones fucking up your plant, at that point, you fuck. You got people that don't know what they're doing into a professional fucking industry selling shit to people that's... You for, some people is for health-related right. issues. Some people is for recreational, but it really doesn't matter. Wow. You got uneducated people trying to get into this fucking business. That's what I mean. Y'all letting corporate, man, before y'all know it, y'all only know what's going on. Y'all motherfuckers be smoking these spider mites and shit. Man, I know. I, That's mites. And all, the, all that shit. shit. It's, it happens. Yeah, it happens. But this shit really happens because guess what? They're not going to cut that shit down after they done spent all oh, that no. money. All that money growing that shit, waiting on the profits to come in. You think they're going to stop? Never. It's not. Never. Man, so, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said... We gotta find out. Know who you fuck cause. with. <laughs> know who you fuck with. But Try to know, know who you get younger. your shit from. I Even if you fucking with niggas on the street, at least know you. We trying to get the best yeah. that's out there to get to you. You know what I'm saying? I know when I was young, we used to call them weed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> For real, they be crawling around in the weed. We ain't, I mean, we was young, so we ain't really know what shit, it was. Man, why everybody done smoke them? Right, well, I fucking think they ain't had no weed buzz know. in this boy. I already crazy. know. Right? They probably had everything touched. Shit's getting better now. That's a, that's a blessing. <laughs> that's a blessing. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Shit, ain't no pipe with nobody, no. Somebody probably done had a whole pound of some shit. Now, but well, what's crazy is, like, what's crazy is, though, how many buzz was on that shit for somebody right, to Right, to notice it, though. It had to and be a lot. And it was more than one person to notice this shit. It had now. to be a lot. Like how many motherfuckers? So I wonder was the whole man. like the whole garden just infested. Yeah, it had to be. Like cause you know some of your so, like you could have one side of your plant infested and the other side of and your garden. You could garden. have, your whole, you, lot, you could have a whole garden infested except for one plant depending know, on how exactly. pest resistant that plant is. One you spider mite saying? you ain't gonna see. I was, oh, nah. You breaking down, you're not even going to see one. So it had to be a yeah, lot. Yeah, it had to be. It had like, to yeah. be. Like, if every bug, he was dropping. That shit had to be real you know nasty, boy. Yeah. Man. But then the, the spider mite, they be naked to the eye. And they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they black. They yeah. black when you down. see them, that's when you start seeing them and shit. Yeah, like, when he said they, they be black yeah. and shit, you yeah. see the webs yeah, and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. too late, man. Yeah, but mind you, if it's one, you're not going to see that. Have you black one? Let me ask y'all this. Have y'all ever seen a spider mite under a microscope? Yeah, that's some ugly looking Fuck motherfuckers. Yeah. That's some scary shit you can I make a horror film out of. Like, them, uh, like the predator mites, that was that was so amazing to me, because they really like you see them in the jar, you pull them on your plant, like they really move. <laughs> and the, yeah, uh, like, what, I, what's the uh, somebody was, said Jamaica is legal. I think Jamaica been legal forever. Man, <laughs> no regulations. <laughs> They giving out trash bags out there. Yeah. They ain't even no They give you about thirteen. I, I mean, junk. I'm saying technically, I know it was illegal, but I think it's been legal out right. there for it's like. They never had it's, no regulations out there. I don't there. think so. Oh, yeah. it's, 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 it's no, 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 don't get me wrong. Now, nah, weed is illegal. At one point, weed was illegal but that's in a Jamaica. Natural, that's, a, that's a natural it's herb right. out there. Though. But how how much were they prosecuting it? How seriously were they prosecuting yeah. it? That's a different story. But then they all day they probably was chopping your hands all day catch you in a field. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't try it. 
<laughs> I wouldn't try to fuck when somebody filled out that bitch. Nah, I wouldn't even. <laughs> they throwing spears and shit. I, hey, I would say this. <laughs> I wouldn't try no. fucking when nobody feels, period. Fuck Whether it's no. out here or any Child, other country. Hell no. Cause I wouldn't even fuck with none of the motherfucking rednecks that's growing in the cu- in the country either, because they'll be the first ones to blow your fucking head oh, off, yeah. right? Wait, wait. Don't fuck with these gardens, y'all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you say, I say you near my cush. Because, like, no, nah, nah, for real, though. Like, for real, look. Like how we said, a person is not going to let, they go, even if they get infested with bugs, right? A person is not going to cut their garden. It's the same thing for somebody <coughs> trying to steal their shit. A right. motherfucker's not going to let you just walk in and take their shit. Right. There's going to be some repercussions. So if you come in there, come ready. So shit. what if they would have pressed it with the mic? Uh, oh, man. You would have stayed in them jokes. Like, I guess that's what I they call poop soup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh man, I don't know, man. Huh? Like, you'll so, see. You know, you're going to see him sliding out like all that. Oh, it ain't even that you see him, it's that you just pressing all the bugs. But yeah, see, you about to get you don't know. Like, yeah, I'm about to say, they going to still be in the bugs. You're just pushing the juices out. That's what I mean. Like, everything's getting pressed. Dang, You get an infusion. Oh my God. Hell no, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's the right I, way and the I wrong way to do this shit, though. I man. haven't, like, been through the infestation part, but I have been in garden, plenty of gods that have been infested. I've been infested before. It happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, been in a lot of gods. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm a, I'm a decent grower now, but I think I'm a decent grower now because of the mistakes I made in the past. You understand what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I've been through a lot of this shit. Y'all hear me scream IPMs and do this and do that. I'm telling you for a reason, man, because <laughs> fuck that shit will stress you the fuck out, you know? And fighting the motherfuckers when it's too late, it's almost like, a, even if you win, the shit you got to go through to even win the fucking battle, you know? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my suggestion would be uh, IPM from the very fucking beginning, you know? from the beginning of your start. That's what all I could suggest, like to avoid a lot of the situations that be going on. And, and, and lady books. Yeah. I mean, that's a form of IPM. That's another form of IPM. Whether you do it biological or however you Maybe decide to do it, yeah. I'm telling you, IPM. I ain't seen the lady books work though. I ain't oh, seen yeah. them with my own eyes. Well, I had them jumps crawling all around yeah. the house. I would say the ladybugs are okay. But you know what else? But work, the ladybugs, babies are what's affected. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah, are what really yeah. are because when they when the all right. So when the ladybugs, the, the they are beneficial um insects to have in your garden. The thing with ladybugs is you have to have a lot of them. So yeah. they, you know they like to mm-hmm. fuck like rabbits. They gonna get it on, have babies and yeah, shit. Now the babies look ugly as shit too. Yeah, so don't get creeped out when you see them on your stems and shit like that. Thing is a baby bug. Yeah. But when they're babies, they eat. They need to eat. They need to eat constantly, and they eat mites. That's what they're good at, Mm -hmm. and that's why they. That's why they sell them at the at the at the hydro pump shop like that. So ladybugs do work, but it's not really the ladybugs that are doing most of the um, effective damage. Is their 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 babies? Just That's basically you become a, you become a breeder. So yeah. the key, <laughs> so the, the trick, away. no, the trick, the trick to actually ladybugs is trying to keep them alive. Yeah, Ma- yeah. creating an environment for them. Cause I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know if a, the, the, if a lot of grows out there have dealt with it as well. But you gotta keep know. water. I, yeah, I know if you notice when you have ladybugs and you put them in your room, a whole bunch of them fucking yeah. die. Mm-hmm. Especially if they you ain't got shit down there and shit, or if you don't got no food for them. Yeah, they got the food for them too. They eat certain plants, but they won't eat the canes. So the longer you can keep them alive, the more effective they will be. That's why. That's how I feel about ladybugs. But um, beneficial mites, nematodes. Yeah, the nematodes work. Name, uh, like, um, it's it's a whole yeah, array of too. fucking things. The praying mantis yeah. are my favorite. You got praying mantis. They, they are my favorite. They but the no, they're not hard no. to find. They sell them by the two hundred. Believe it or not, look, but they're Amazon my favorite. sell them two hundred by. But here's the thing with praying mantis, they're not judgmental. Yeah, right. they eat they whatever, whatever. The fuck right. comes yeah, exactly. across right. their ass. So I didn't say no eat my. They, eat they my don't distinct bugs. between <laughs> beneficials yeah, or yeah, they crush good them. or bad. Nah, they eating whatever the fuck mm-hmm. is in that motherfucker. Whatever. So, yeah, I mean they cool as shit to have in your garden though. Fuck yeah. 
I killed mine in the summer. I think I baked them in the um. <laughs> I baked them in my greenhouse while I was still trying to get shit dialed in. Yeah. Uh, that motherfucker was Chris. Oh yeah. He <laughs> oh yeah. When you said that, when it burned. <laughs> He was dead, dog. Uh, he was, he was dead. dead. Yeah, he was dead. I found him I outside. All about that. Bad, man. Yeah, you told me to hear something about that. I forget. Nah, you can order them, though. Yeah, you can order them. Uh, I guess the uh, the hard part would be, or the patient part would be... Um, Hatching. Wait, yeah. yeah. Wait till they hatch. <laughs> wait till they hatch. But, um, but, you know, it's always a process of, like, speeding the process up. Get an incubator. Yeah. I guess, for, like, from an organic point of view, organic grower... Um, when you see these stories out there about bugs being in your boo boo boo, don't take that to assume like it's organic growing and they use bugs. Nah, this is somebody didn't know what the fuck they was doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I guarantee you, my shit is no bugs right now on my fucking bugs. I didn't even introduce. Look, my IPM regiment was so fucking serious during fucking from beginning, <laughs> during the veg. Like, I mean, sir, it's like a fucking religion. Like, people go to church every Wednesday and Sundays and shit like that. <laughs> like, that shit was like that for me, dog. Like, I didn't have to do shit when they went into um, flower. I didn't have to introduce no predator mites. I didn't have to do nothing. So that's, your, that's, that's what you want to do, though. That's what you want to do. Before you go in a flower, you want to make sure you, you don't you have no You want to be clean. You, wanna right. make, you want your environment to be clean. You want an IPM doing vagin. That's what I'm saying. You so when you flower, you don't have to worry about how many weeks right. in the flower do I have to spray. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't, have to, to, you yeah. shouldn't have to spray any week into flower, in my right. belief. Not even the first week. Not even the first week, no. When you flip that fucking light switch, that's when you start spraying the flower. That's just me. Right. Before then, do you. Water that motherfucker down every other day if you feel like. Every um, day if you feel like. The plant could take it. The plant and veg process could take it. Yeah, that's a little, if it could take you bending them branches fucking upside down, around. snapping mm-hmm. them and them bitches right. grow back, guess what? It could take a rain shower right. every fucking day or every um, other day. Whether you want to use neem, whether you want to use rosemary. But or, turn your lights off when you use neem. Yeah. Make oh, sure you oh, turn your oh, lights off. I would say turn them um, off. Oh, Wait till they about to go out or just coming on when you spray right, anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I, I did do that. I, I burned oh, my I, whole yeah. garden up with them. I burnt mine. I'm talking about that shit deteriorated in my eyes in a matter of seconds. Like, I burnt a few of mine too, but I still don't care. I say one plant. <laughs> I, I my rather, like gift. no, cause like you would, I, I haven't burned to the plant to the point where they they die or anything, but you can see them on the, on the leaves and shit like that. But um. I still don't care. I, I'd rather that than having fucking infestation. But you learn your lesson from it. Yeah. You don't do it with you, like you said. You don't do it with the fucking lights on, especially if you're using HPSs. Oh yeah, and fucking, that shit gonna eat your shit alive. Yeah, that's like the that. I done got burned in my head, the top of my head by the HPS. I had to take that job no. down. I switched the LED. No, no, my man, God, right. I'm not Skin putting out no names. Right, I ain't putting out no that's names all, out there, right? But look, my man, um, God, right. That. My man got two big ass fucking lights. He his room ain't even big as enough as it is, right? <laughs> he got two big ass lights and these and he got beds, right? So then he's like, man, these lights ain't doing good. I guess he said this, you know what I'm saying? So I'ma put another motherfucking light. Big ass light. But so he, it wasn't like even a fucking that, he, he, it took like a week. Now his fucking veg, like his room is a flower now. It's so out of control because the flowers reacted to that light. Yeah. It's so dense, so many leaves. The shit done grew into the fucking mm-hmm. lights. They stressed that quick. Half of the shit done burnt up. Mm-hmm. Like, man, shit, what you think I could do? I, I ain't know what to say, dog. Hey, I say, man, I don't even know had, to tell you, man. My man had Skywalker on, uh, OG under HPS lights. Uh, an ounce was like <laughs> so fluffy, huh? Like, this shit ain't make no sense, man. But that's what you create too much heat in your room. First of all, if you, especially if you ain't got no way to vent it out, but right. Look, like, we running out of time, y'all. We got about a few more minutes. You got some fire. What, what's that is again? I got uh the uh gorilla Chris, cookies. Don't tell me, tell the people out there. Got the gorilla IG, cookies, man. man, and I got some um ghost OG. I got some more shit in the house, man. I just don't feel like naming all them flavors and shit. Cause I don't yeah. feel like thinking right now, man. But shit, if y'all follow me, man, I put my menu up. You know what it is, uh. It's fire for sure. Reach out to me. Holler at me. If I fuck with you. If I know you, more than likely I'll get back to you. If I don't know you, I don't know, man. I see what's up. Huh. 
Cause I swear, man, sometimes I get some wild shit in my shit, man. Yeah. Shit, I, I still be pulling up on them, though. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just don't know, dog. I don't know, man. I, mean, I don't be knowing, man. I look at it. Even, I I, so even if you look back on the person page, they, on, they only got like posted three pictures up and got like three fucking four fucking followers and shit. I don't know. Some I, of them just be suspect. I don't know, man. man. I, I still mm-hmm. might slide up on the thing. <laughs> yeah. I just ain't going to tell them what comment. I gotta see them first. Yeah, Cause when wow. I put my eyes on them, then I already know who I'ma shoot. So what you gonna be like? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, what you be like, meet me on Stay the corner. Like that. Meet me on the corner and such and such with a red hair bandana on. Nah, like. I just be, I just yeah. be like, where you want me to meet you at? Oh, such and such. All right, pull right there. What kind of car you want? I want to know what kind of car. You want. Oh, I ain't. Uh, if I'm pulling to their house, hey, come hey, you outside. Getting you getting too much. Mean? You getting too much. Oh no, man! Yeah, I'm letting like, you know. I'm pulling up to the front door like a drive-through. Just tell them know where they can get you at. A one doe underscore on I mean, a one a one underscore doe on Instagram. <laughs> That's what's up, y'all. We got Dane Dane Poop on IG as well. What's that? Right and there? y'all already know, man. DC Farmer, man. So y'all can y'all check us out. Um, this week was just a chill week. Thank, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Um, oh, yeah, been super busy. OG. So we just relaxing, enjoying, smoking, and we thought we have a conversation with y'all, y'all out there. And uh, just talk amongst ourselves. So next week, we'll have another guest. We're going to keep it moving how we always keep it moving. And um, we also been up here quiet as kept watching the fucking... What's the score, man? Uh, shit. 14-13. 14 13. We've been watching the fucking game. Quiet as kept. Redskins versus the Eagles. And she was winning. Uh, Eagles. The Eagles winning. Yeah, 14. Yeah. Look, hey, man, I don't need nothing to tell y'all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me next week, y'all. Thanks for tuning hey, in. How about a cowboy? <laughs> oh, my own shit. Is that DC Fama? That DC Fama? That DC Fama? DC Fama Show. Is that DC Fama? That